I'm so sorry. Yeah. <sighs> Shooting the intro now. So everybody loves out and about footage and uh, I just recently went, me and Katkin went to Seattle, uh, what was it, last week? Yeah. Yes. And so I, we filmed a little bit, I'll stick it in right here, hope you fucking like it. And after that it's fucking pickups. So either skip ahead if you don't like out and about or fucking skip skip the fucking pickups. Doesn't make any difference to me. <sighs> Is it fucking recording? I can't... I guess during peak hours, during like rush hour and shit, this is when this ferry makes its dosh, eh? Uh, you know, it it's just... It's probably got commuters. There's a ticket, you can buy a book of tickets for this thing. What do you got there? Makalito Ferry. Makatilo. Mak Is there a fucking thing where we can get like tourist information? About the Makalito Ferry? No, about <laughs> the other side. It was, I hadn't shut it off. I just closed the thing. Whoa, dude, look at, look at all the ends spinning. It's fucking tripping me out. That's pretty trippy. It's fucking disorienting. I feel totally disoriented now. In a good way. I'm filming this, Brandy. Okay. The deck on top of the hotel. There's the space noodle. Uh, there's, uh, Katkin standing right there. <laughs> yeah, there's a deck on top of the fucking hotel, and, and it, there's this. I don't know, can you see? Uh, I can't fucking see anything. It's gorgeous up here. We're gonna be over there to go to something. And then there's that, which is Queen Anne Hill, I guess what that is. That's part of when the uh, World Exposition was here. We're going to be right there. We'll be right underneath that shit. The space noodle looks funny though. It does. It looks kind of, uh, kind of scary. Well. It looks like a giant scaffolding that's got funny things around the edges. Yeah. You can go, you can go up the motherfucker too. Or later. We live on the We live like oh, yeah. hours. Yeah. Wow, that thing's fucked up though. The space noodle. Whoa, look at that fucking thing sticking out of the ground over there, that big glass fucking Oh yeah, check it. That's weird. <laughs> Where are we? 
Seattle on a pier of some sort, a very wide pier at sunset. It's beautiful. A wide pier. So yeah, we're right kind of downtown near Pike Place Market. There's a fucking Ferris wheel over there somewhere. There's some fucking ferry boat. Oh, you can't see the ferry boats. Oh yeah, I know, I'm getting to it. Yeah, I'm not going to not show the white here. <laughs> There's the beautiful view, which the white balance is fucking up because you're not going to see that. And then there's back. We've walked a long way. It's not much to see right here, but maybe I'll show more when we get to Pike Place Market, which is right over here. So, fuck off. We're on fucking vacation. Leave us the fuck alone. somewhere. What is it? The Goodwill. But, like I said, I have absolutely no desire to search it out. Interact. 
attractive map, right? And it's lovely. It's laminated. If you spent the extra dollar fifty, we laminated it. Yeah, your exit 186, park and ride. Uh, so what you do is you put the pin in the map, right? And you, 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 you Google Earth it. And you you kind of go along with the trip. And then what you do is you lay the map out. And what you do is you get like a, a really narrow dowel about this long. You know, about 18 inches long. And lay it on one corner of the map. And roll the map up around the dowel. You know, like a, a really narrow dowel. We're talking half inch. Roll it up around the dowel. And roll it all the way up. And then remove the dowel from it, right? And you'll have the map will be rolled up really, really, really tight. And what you do is you go get some pledge or uh, other furniture polishes are, are, are available and you um, take the furniture polish and you polish the map up really nice so it's just fucking glowing and then what you do is you turn it sideways and stick it up your fucking ass <laughs> and that's the friendly way to go did I say, hey, hey, grub gun here? Did I mention that? I don't that? think you did. Yeah, well, I don't think I've said that in any of the videos that we've made in Seattle. Hey, hey! That guy is here! I have returned. Hey, guy! <laughs> I have returned. Okay, fuck, that's enough. What are we filming? No one's gonna watch this anyway. No. We're gonna have to stick this in the fucking. The, the, For fuck's sakes, how long is this going? Yeah, the, the, the 12 minutes Ooh, of blank footage is gonna be better yeah, than this. Yeah, that'll be more so, fascinating. Future of flight, follow 526 West. Okay, so yeah, this is great. Everyone's gonna be ill from watching fucking shaky cam for the last 12 minutes. So. Yeah. So yeah, we'll, we'll film some more when we get to somewhere where there's something to film. Quite possibly home. Bye. Rob Gun signing out. Three, two, one, contact. <laughs> hey, hey, Grub Gun here. Oh, I hope you enjoyed that out and about footage that uh, me and Kat can. Uh, spent hours caringly uh, compiling for you and the home viewers to enjoy. Oh fuck! Look, see, I'm wearing the I'm wearing the tie too. So you see, I'm all fucking classed up for the for this shit. I've I've decided to wear the the tie that uh, Evo Hitler sent me. Well, Natalie sent it. Evo Hitler had fucking all he sent me was a broken mug. So. I got a fucking, I got the Space Invaders tie, so I'm wearing that now. It's a special occasion because, that's right, I'm back. <laughs> and it's pickups, that's right. When was the last time I did pickups? Oh wait, fucking like four days ago when I showed you the fucking R4 cart that, you know, went over like a fucking, like gangbusters. And right now, I'm playing uh, an exciting stolen version of uh, Mario Tennis Open, which is good, because I didn't fucking pay for it. And it's a great game. So, uh, R4 card, everyone. Where's the package? I'm going to show it again. Go buy one. Scrub gun approved. Oh, fuck, I'll have to put the graphic in now. Okay, that was done. So yeah, that was exciting. Now, oh god, it's pickups, like genuine fucking pickups. Games that I've bought in the wild that I'm gonna show, I'm gonna hold up in fucking show and tell format, which is everybody's favorite thing. Fuck. I'm thirsty. Hold on a second, I'm gonna go get my drink. And any any crazy noises you hear in the background is fucking Catkin playing fucking Final Fantasy fourteen. So if you hear explosions and fucking her saying fuck over and over again. I almost I almost lost him. I was around the corner, I couldn't see him, he almost died. Yeah. 
Not another one. Not this time. It's riveting stuff over there. Hope you can hear me over the uh, din. Okay, uh, here's a pickup that everyone uh, should look at. It's my uh, Super Bowl, uh, what was it, 44 uh, glass I got from from the from the from a thrift store. I don't care about football, but a glass shaped like a football. Hey, I'm down. Oh, so yeah, it's a regular pickup video. As I was saying. Sorry. And, um, and, uh, fucking, oh, God, it's been a long time since I've done just a regular pickup video. <sighs> Actually, when was it? Hmm, oh, it seems just like yesterday that I was holding up games, and, oh, it, yes, I, fuck off. You're not getting a fucking flashback. I don't get paid enough to do flashbacks. So, oh, yeah, just speaking of which, speaking of getting paid, yo. Fuck yeah, I'm back at work. That's right. This lumpy cocksucker is back at work. I, on Monday, I'm going to be holding the fucking business end of a shovel and probably having a stroke. So that's uh, pretty bad. But I, I'm back at work, so the fucking Skrilla is going to start coming back in. You know what I'm saying? Because it's all about the Skrilla. Am I right? Up top, everyone. Um... And uh, we're gonna fucking be saving up money to fucking, I don't know what, live comfortably, not have to worry about fucking bills. Um, uh, you know, I, of course, what I'm expected to say at that point is uh, X-Bone PS4. But fuck off, that's like fucking G, you know what I mean? I could, I think of how many shit games I can buy for a G, people, at two bucks a pop, you know what I'm saying? It's all about the Skrilla, though, you know what I'm saying? Up top. Okay, uh, fuck off. Um, yeah, so... <sighs> this is gonna be the Microsoft pickup video. All about the X-Bone box. Xbox. All about Xbox and Xbox-related consoles. All about Microsoft and Microsoft-related Xbox games. I got a lot of them. Fuck. I got a lot of them. I got a stack of the cocksuckers here. So let's start back in the heyday of uh, of Xbox gaming. Oh fuck. And let's let's go way back. Oh, I can remember back in the day when oh the Xbox came out and nope. Wrong. No, you thought I was going to do a fucking flashback. That's twice now. I'm going to have to edit in the fucking sound effect and the, do the fucking, uh, the, the, the wavy lines. I need a raise is what I need. So increase your Patreon uh, money to $6 a month because that flashback just cost you. Okay, so let's go way back to the halcyon days of... 19 fucking 58 when the Xbox came out when you know fucking rock and roll was still king and fucking Jerry Lee Lewis drowned his cousin I don't know what the fuck it doesn't matter look at this ho ho it's Spartan Total Warrior and this is a three night new release uh, game rental so I'm gonna have to have this back pretty quick um I, I'd, I'd read what it says on the back, but the cocksuckers put a fucking sticker on. Is that a sticker or is it just a... Oh yeah, the cocksuckers fucking jammed a sticker on the fucking back label, so... So they're dickheads. But I have this already on GameCube, but I figured for two bucks I'd pick this up. Who wouldn't, right? Who wouldn't? I, I got a lot of catchphrases, but who wouldn't is one of them. Who wouldn't pick this up for two dollars? That's a rhetorical question. I don't actually require a response to it. But yeah, look at Spartan. You can clash with legions of warriors or battle huge mythical creatures. Now, I've already said this when I showed the GameCube version. So go back to the video where I did that, and who knows when that was. Wage war against 60 different enemy types. 
60 different enemy types. What the fuck are you talking about? From gladiators and barbarians to skeletons and zombies. Yeah, that's happening. Well, this video is already fucking 20 minutes long. Because I stuck that footage in and I'm at 7 minutes and I haven't shown anything. Well, fuck off, dude. If you don't want to fucking watch it, fucking watch it in two parts or something. I'm not breaking the video up. I'll fucking go as fast as I can. I had to show you the tie. And get my glass of water. So yeah, and plus, you see, look at this. Uh, you know, I'm not fucking, I don't have a fucking garbage bag full of games here. I'm getting them off a shelf off the side. You know, like, I'm not fucking pulling an old fucking hobo bag Chad Bailey fucking move. I'm fucking taking them from right here. It's not hard to fucking stack games up from fucking big to small. Spartan! It's back, everyone! And here's another one that I have on the GameCube, but, uh... So I'm not going to say much about it, and this is in bloody nice condition. Uh, hey, bloody nice, it's actually a pun because it's fucking Mortal Kombat. Ho oh, ho, oh, and there's blood in it, because everybody knows about that there's blood in it. Now, I don't even know if we've ever played this. Have we played Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance? I'm not sure. I can see you. <laughs> So, yeah, it looks like it says a fight so brutal, so evil, so deadly. So, yeah, it's basically a load of bullshit. But anyway, look, it's back in my collection. Well, it's not back. It's, it's also acquired on the Xbox console. Oh, it's fun holding things up and, and talking about them. Here's another one. And I got, I got the same place as I got those, and I haven't taken the sticker off the front of this, which makes me a fucking schlub. I'm fucking useless. Don't argue with me, I fucking am, okay? So shut up, alright? I'm sick of fucking arguing my fucking point here. This game, apparently it feels more dangerous on the Xbox. And that can only be uh, a game that has some of the fastest racing around, reminiscent of the greatest arcade racing games. And that's, of course, the developer's cut of Burnout 2 Point of Impact. Developer's cut. Whoops. Uh... And that, of course, is boxed and complete, like most of my, like 99% of the games I get. But, uh, well, probably more than 99, because I don't like fucking buying games without manuals, because it's fucking Bush League! Um, Burnout 2, Point of Impact, Developer's Cut, so if anybody knows what the hell this is and why it's better, uh, tell me or keep it to yourself, whatever you figure, you know, if you don't feel like typing it out, fuck yes, it doesn't make any difference to me because, hey, when's, when's the point that I'm going to play this? Probably, uh, fucking two days from never. Here's another one. Ooh, this looks good. Uh, <laughs> this is an Xbox exclusive, um, apparently, at the, at the point that it was made, which was in the year 2002. Oh, everyone remembers what happened, the days of 2002, when, I don't know, we didn't even know what was going on back then. But it's Unreal Championship. Uh, second place is dead last, apparently. Wait, look, it's Unreal Championship U. Well, evidently I can play this on the Wii U, too. So, you know, they had predicted the time predicted the Wii U's uh, development and they made a game for it back in 2002. So it's Unreal Championship U, everyone. Um, I don't know what this is. It looks like it's just a fucking shooter fucking game. It's technically, it's unreal. So that's exciting. Here's another one. Oh, ho, what have we here? It's quality uh, prices guarantees why shop anywhere else it's uh, fucking uh, got this one at value village um, for cheap got the discount on her you know what I'm saying it's Star Wars Obi-Wan so that's right everyone Star Wars Obi-Wan except no substitute draw upon all of your Jedi training 
force powers, and lightsaber skills to defeat the worst scum and villainy in the galaxy. Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan. The fate of a Jedi, the density of a galaxy. Obi-Wan. It's pretty neat how it's all green there. Of course, that's the only redeeming fucking factor. So that looks like a thing that happened to me at some point, and now it's still happening. Aren't pickups fun, everyone? Yay! <laughs> They're back, everyone. Here's another one. Uh, I was actually going to pick this up at some point, and guess what? I already did, because it's in my hand here, so it's rhetorical, whether it's r r irrelevant, whether I fucking uh wanted to pick it up at some point or not because i already have it look it's fucking uh, the ever popular valve game uh, mature 17 plus it's counter-strike the number one online pc action game in the world in the world now on xbox and this came out in 2003 counter-strike Accept no substitute. It's, it's got a map in it or something? No. I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. Is there anything you can say? Does anyone know about this game? Is it good? Is it bad? Is it completely indifferent? Is it fucking... Does it make you fucking get distended testicles? That and more on the next episode of Beachcombers. Um, here's another one. Now I've I, this 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 actually looks pretty fun, and I'm judging it just by the cover. And th there's this is a really exciting game too because I'm going to show you something. Like this is the uh, it, it looks really exciting. Uh, it's fucking Outlaw Volleyball. But it's not just Outlaw Volleyball. Because you're thinking, oh, that's just Outlaw Volleyball. The fucking camera's gone blurry. I'm out of focus. Seriously? There we go. Fucking prick. It's not just Outlaw Volleyball. Because this has a fucking CD inside. And it's a CD by... The ever popular band that everyone remembers. Brandy, you remember this, don't you? It's Diffuser. Oh, remember Diffuser? Well, they're back in disc format. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't. Uh... It's Diffuser. It came free. It's. I, I kind of vaguely. But that's, you know... There's a picture of them. Google Earth that, you fucking cocksuckers. Um, and I you, know what a diffuser is. Yeah, well, there you go. I, yeah, the, the same, right? So, you know, you at first you were thinking, well, Outlaw Volleyball, that's, <laughs> that's really cool. But it comes with the free diffuser disc. Now you're all basically fucking suffering the ever fucking popular four hour painful boner. So enjoy that. I hope you fucking all have to go to the hospital because of your four hour painful boner. And if there's any women watching this, I don't know what kind of four hour painful something you can have, but it's probably, probably, uh, you probably need medical attention at the very least. <laughs> I'm making up my own jokes in my head now Pro that are probably not appropriate. Well. <laughs> no one said anything so far. <laughs> no, no. If anyone knows what the female equivalent is of the four-hour painful yeah, boner. Please, we, we need to know this. Link, just for our records. Link me in the comments section. You know, in, fact, in fact, if we don't know, it'll actually be sexist. And this might be taken That's right. out due to being sexist. That's right. You know, you, you'll can't... be sexist. If you don't tell us, you need the equi we need the equivalent, and we need it now for the books. People. Okay, well, I'm at thirty minutes. For fuck's sake, nobody's watching this <laughs> bullshit. Okay, um, here's another one. Oh, this looks exciting. I actually got this because um, 
I thought Katkin might enjoy it because she likes uh, she likes card based entertainment. Am I right? On occasion. Oh, a ringing endorsement from Katkin <laughs> to to uh, uh, fucking camera left over there. Um, oh no, that's camera right. Did you see my tie? Anyway, fuck off. It's Magic the Gathering Battlegrounds for the Xbox. Oh, fuck. Uh, tr true power cannot be contained. Oh, fuck. Unleash your power in 16 fighting arenas. Conjure countless combinations from over 70 different spells. <laughs> Conjure countless combinations. <laughs> so yeah, that that looks pretty good. It probably plays quite well and but it's in it's in one of these fucking fake Xbox boxes, dude. And that really pisses me off. I'm fucking mad right now. I'm all right. I'll be okay. But I can't fucking handle that shit. It's fucking Bush League. And here's the last Xbox game before we move on to another generation of Microsoft console. It's Dai Senryaku Modern Military Tactics 7. So, <laughs> so for fans of the Dai Senryaku series, Seven's out. Hurry up to the get to the store and, <laughs> and buy seven. But uh, I also got this with Katkin in mind because she loves her squares, and uh, you know, and she can't get enough of squares. But this, these ain't squares. They're hex hexagons. They're six sided. Join the 3D battlefield with Chemco's Dai Senryaku and test your abilities against the unrelenting computer AI. Do it! I'm sick and tired of you fucking not listening to me. Do it! Look! And it's a uh, boxed in comp oh, I already said that. So, uh, get off your lazy fucking asses. Look at my hair. It looks like I've got the... I've got the fucking... 1970s hair or whatever. I'm working on the Kenny Rogers. Uh, I do really have to know when to hold them. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, uh, get in line for some of this. Now let's move on to another era of Xbox. The Xbox 360! And, oh fuck, it did a fucking jump cut. Oh my god. When did it do it? 40 seconds ago. Well, anyway, you saw what I was holding up. Fuck you guys. Here's another one. Uh, we'll move on to the Xbox 360. I can't believe I didn't notice it did the fucking thing. Light or shadow, you decide. Ugh. It's Fallen Angel, Sacred 2. And apparently this is a really fun game, and it plays in fucking, what do you call it? It's two-player co-op. And so I got it. I don't usually buy 360 games, but, you know, if I see something that's neat, uh, I'm getting it. And I saw something that's neat, so I got it. Fallen Angel, Sacred 2. Chad Bailey approved. And here's another one that I've been looking for for a while. And I finally came across it. And it's got a bunch of games in it. that uh, One of which I've played. Uh, one of which I haven't played. And one of which I'm not going to play. It's uh, the Orange Box. Got it for really cheap. And there she blows. You know what I'm saying? Been looking for this for quite a while. And there it is. Everyone's favorite orange box. Maybe that's maybe orange box is the thing is the female equivalent of four hour boner.
No response. I think I've struck a nerve there. Now you think I'm done? No. Let's move on to another generation of Microsoft console. That's right. A couple days ago I was at work. I drove past the Valley Village. And I found these. Now granted, I probably won't play this. First of all, I can't. And secondly, uh, when am I going to do that? Because it's a sports game. But it's an Xbox One game. Found it at Value Village. NBA 2K14. Who's not going to buy that for a couple bucks? I mean, you know, you'd have to be fucking a mental case to do that. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It's, it's fucking brand new. It's got all the shit in it. I don't know. I just bought it because what the hell, eh? It'll look good on the shelf, which is what I do. And that's... Uh, NBA approved. It's got the little holographic sticker on it. And lastly, another Xbox One game. It's uh, powered by Frostbite 3, which of course, you know, I, I fully uh, agree with that uh, excitement. It's Battlefield 4. So, if I ever buy an X-Bone, I've got two games already. So, ha ha. And that's it. That's all. We're at some stupid amount of fucking time. I want to try and make videos shorter than fucking like 20 minutes. Well, as you saw, I've already fucking jump cut at this one. But it's never going to happen. So, uh, see you later, everybody. Uh, it's been Grub Gun. I hope you like the out and about footage and the uh, social commentary provided by Katkin, um, who has uh, left the building, I think. So, until next time, uh, up, up, and save pilgrims, and fuck off.